good morning. Let's get into some skincare. I feel like I've really solidified my morning and nighttime skincare routines. So I wanted to go through both of those with you guys today, starting with all of my morning products and we're gonna start by washing my face. I've been using the Curology face wash. Um, I dealt with hormonal acne. I have a whole video explaining everything I did for my hormon hormonal acne to get me back in a much better place. Um, but I still am using my Curology face, face wash and a few other products. So we're gonna start here. As you can see, it like foams up really, really nice. I really love it, but it is pretty interchangeable with like the CeraVe Foaming Facial Cleanser. I also use this sometimes in the morning. So if you don't wanna go the Curology route, this is another huge favorite of mine, so. First thing after washing my face is we are going to exfoliate. In the morning, I love using the First Aid Beauty Facial Radiance Pads. These are like the best. These I've been using for at least, honestly, I'm probably going on like three years. I love these in the morning. And something about the pad, like they just really get in there. And ever since I had hormonal acne, I just love an exfoliator. But highly, highly recommend these. Always do this right after washing your face. Now let's get into serums and such. We're gonna start with um, Youth to the People. This is a 15% vitamin C plus caffeine energy serum. I have been liking this. I've tried a couple different vitamin C serums now. I first started with the Glossier vitamin C and then I moved on to the Kosas or Konas. I can't remember. Um, in like a pink tube. I liked that one, but I'm still experimenting, honestly. So if you have any other vitamin C recommendations, let me know. I think I might try the Sunday Riley's one next, but I have really been liking this. I still would keep this maybe in my routine, um, but I'm looking for another like thick vitamin C to really brighten um, my skin. But I still like this. It gives you like a good like zhuzh in the morning to kind of wake your skin up, which I love. So. Next up, we're doing a little road. This is her glazing milk. I've been loving, loving this. And this is just like a milk essence, so it's supposed to really moisturize. But I've been like consistently buying all of her road products, so. This one's been in the routine for a while, but we start with the glazing milk and then followed up with her peptide glazing fluid. There has not been a product of hers that I haven't liked. I've literally been obsessed with all of them and I feel like they're all at a very decent price point. I think they're all around $30 or so, which in the skincare world is really not that bad. So we got our little road duo. Final step in the morning is just to moisturize. I've been using the Curology gel moisturizer, um, but another, again, comparable moisturizer in my opinion is the Neutrogena Hydro Boost. Um, it's like a water gel formula. And make sure you get the fragrance-free one because um, fragrances will irritate your skin, but especially if you have acne prone skin, but I feel like it's very comparable. I love like a gel moisturizer in the morning. I feel like it's not too thick, especially when I'm gonna be applying makeup, but. Okay, 
But that is my morning skincare routine and tonight I will take you through my nighttime skincare routine. I just got back to my hotel room. We are done for the evening and it is officially time for some nighttime skincare. Let's get into it. First up, we're gonna be trying something new tonight. I was raving earlier about all of the Rode Beauty products and she recently came out with a face wash and I've been dying to try it. So this just came in the mail a couple days ago. We're gonna try it out. It's the Pineapple Refresh. And like I said, everything else has been in my skincare routine for a while. Um, and I've been very consistent with it, loved it all. But I do have to say, I'm normally not a believer in really splurging on face wash. I feel like you can find really great cleansers at a very affordable price. Not that this is very expensive, but I mean like 28, I think it's $28 for a face wash versus like CeraVe that you can get a big thing for like 11 bucks. It's just hard to justify. So we're gonna try it. I don't think this is gonna be my everyday cleanser, but I still wanted to try it. And I do actually have a cleansing balm that I normally use when I have makeup on, but of course I forgot to pack it. So I'll insert a clip. It's the Versed Day Dissolve Cleansing Balm. I've absolutely loved it. It takes off your makeup so easy. Um, and then I just follow up with normally a CeraVe face wash, but let's really put this guy to the test and see how it holds up taking off all my makeup, fully cleansing my face. Okay, I really liked that. It like really clings to your face and it has a very similar consistency to a lot of her other products like that milky, moisturizing feeling. Um, and I feel like it kind of forces you to take the time to really massage it into your skin. Um, but definitely a fan. I would say though, I think I'm just used to doing like the cleansing balm first, like really get my eye makeup and stuff off, but for not doing like a double cleanse. This was really, really nice. So we'll see if it sticks in the full routine. I think I'll still probably kind of stick to my more inexpensive cleansers and do this on occasion, but on first impressions, I really liked it. Now it's time for me to hop in the shower before I finish the rest of my skincare routine. got out of the shower and putting on a little bit of the road lip treatment like I said literally obsessed with all their stuff again not sponsored um, my lips have just been really chapped on this trip and I don't have my normal chapstick with me I still absolutely love this but like normally when my lips are just like chapped that's what I want to put on anyway time for the rest of the nighttime skincare routine I still feel though like I like my cleansing balm better. I just feel like there's still mascara and eyeliner residue around my eyes. So anyway, starting with a toner or exfoliator, we're using the Paula's Choice. I have been using this also for years. Um, and I am kind of a freak who exfoliates twice a day. So in the morning and at night, um, the first day beauty one in the morning, the Paula's Choice at night. People might not normally recommend this, but I swear it really saved my skin um, when I was dealing with hormonal acne. So it's what works for me. I'm not an expert, so I'm just sharing what has helped my skin and what works for me. So anyway, like I said, I've been using this for years. Absolutely love it. Have repurchased several, several times. So we start with this after the shower. And then I do my Curology Tretinoin. Um, if I can get any out. I'm like almost at the end of this one. And I have another bottle at home. But this is the actual like medication that helped my skin through hormonal acne. I really want to like find a dermatologist and just get it prescribed. 
but for now we're still using Curology. Literally love all their stuff, so I would highly recommend if you're dealing with hormonal acne or if you're just wanting to get ahead of wrinkles, aging, that kind of stuff. So this has been a holy grail for me, but Curology like obviously treat to your specific concerns and skin type and all those things. So this is my uh, formula that I use. It's a very, very light tretinoin. It's 0.01% tretinoin. So very, very light, minimal, um, but enough to keep my face clear. So that's what we use to treat. And then I actually go back in with my road, starting with the glazing milk. I can't talk enough about all of the road products. The only products I haven't tried are her lip tints, um, but they're coming back in stock, I think at the end of this month, I want to say it's like the 27th of February. So anyway, and I'm getting, I'm almost out of the Barrier Restore Cream, so I'll probably order that at the same time too, but going in again with the Peptide Glazing Fluid. Two pumps of this. Now this part I don't do every single night, but I have incorporated this into my routine. I maybe do this like once a week. So we're gonna gouache on my face using a nighttime facial oil. This is from Aromanthe, I believe. I really liked this. I actually found this on the EWG app. It's an app that helps you find like clean beauty products or um, you can test the products that you currently have and are currently using and see how clean they are. Um, it tests for like things that are just like bad for your skin. Um, but also, you know, if they're like good for the planet and you know, do they test on animals, all that kind of stuff. So clean beauty from head to toe, this one is EWG verified. Um, so this is one that they've like fully crossed off as like 100% clean beauty. I start by just like getting that pressed into my face and then we're gonna gouache out just a little bit. But when I first got this, I wasn't certain like how good I was gonna be about using this. But I honestly do this like probably at least once a week usually on Sundays or when I'm doing like a longer full shower and skincare routine, but it's just been really nice. It like gives you a second, gives you some time to really focus on yourself. Shot. We're just going to use the Road Barrier Restore Cream as a final moisturizer. We're just using this to like lock in all the moisture from the facial oil. I also use um, the Kiehl's Overnight Mask. Um, as another like last step in my skincare routine, but I forgot to pack it. So I'll insert another clip of that. I really love that. I don't use it every single night, but if I'm needing a little bit more moisturizer or like a long skincare night where I'm doing my gua sha and everything, I do usually put the Kiehl's mask on. And that is it for my nighttime skincare routine. If you made it this far, thank you so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe, like, comment, all the things, and I'll see you in the next video.